Welcome back. In this episode, I will show you some sprite operations in basic code. I show you how to mirror a sprite. This we will do using the standard Commodore Basic. Next, I will also demonstrate some code that we can use to flip and inverse the sprite. The first thing we need to do, of course, is create a sprite. In this example, I used my Excel uh, file that I showed before, uh, which you can use to define the data. But there are many tools online to find to create sprites. But also, of course, you can do it completely manual by putting it on a grid and calculating all the values by yourself. And then once we have defined the sprite byte values, we need to write some basic code. For this, we need to use the data command. Later, I'll show you how to read this data and poke it into the sprite memory on the Commodore. As you can see, I do it the classical way by just typing each line. This really brings back memories. Okay, now we have the lines of code with the sprite data. Let's now define one line of code with a for next loop to read all this data and to poke it into a sprite memory. Once we have put the data into the memory, we need to instruct the VIC chip where it can find the data and where we need to position the sprite on the screen. We do this by entering some POC commands. Once we have put the data into the memory, we need to instruct the big chip where it can find the data and where we need to position the sprite on the screen. We do this by entering some poke commands.
Okay, before we look at the basic code we need, let's first now look at some animation on what we have and what we need to achieve when we want to mirror the sprite as it is defined in memory to a new sprite. So let's look at this. Uh, we represent the sprite using the blocks on the screen. And so each sprite contains 21 uh, lines of three bytes codes. We just put some blocks uh, representing the bits here. So this is the first byte. Then we have the second byte on the first row and the third byte. So once we have done that, we need some loop to walk through those memory bytes and manipulate the bits in it. So first let's look at the first byte. We need to mirror that or copy that to the last byte in the second sprite. So, and by the second thing we need to do is to mirror the bit positions, as you can see here. Then the middle byte, we can just copy, but also there we need to mirror the bits in position. So the first bit will be the last bit and so forth. And thirdly, we need the last byte of the first row. We move that to or copy that to the first position. And also there we need to uh, mirror the bits into in the byte. Once we have done that, we need to do this and repeat this in a loop for each memory line of the sprite. Okay, let's now look at some basic code how we can do this. First part is how to manipulate the byte and mirroring the bits in it. thing we need is copying the bytes from the sprite first memory to the second sprite memory. And the last thing we need is an, a loop for an X loop for doing this 21 times over. So finally, let's look at the result. Now we have defined this all into Commodore Basic. And let's just run it and see what is the result. In the comments I will put a, a link so you can download this code. In this code is a second example for flipping the sprite and a third example for inversing the sprite as well. So you can play a bit with the sprites yourselves. So see you next time, bye.